it's your man Mike Bowens. I'm coming to you. Listen, I'm amped up. I'm charged up. How about you? Listen, I got another powerful, powerful message for you. This message is entitled, A Moment of Clarity. A Moment of Clarity. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean that I've been interviewing people for the last few weeks, and I've come to find out, right, because I'm always researching, I'm a study of people, I'm a study of habits, I'm a study of things, I love to listen to books, audio books, and documentaries, I love to research how the human brain works, how the human mind works, how, why people do what they do, I love things spiritual, you know, how God operates and works through people's lives, and what I've come to find out is I, as I interview various people from various cultures, various backgrounds, is that people are contradictory. Not everybody. I don't mean in a bad way. I don't mean like the hypocrites. That's not what I mean. I mean is that people, um, they say one thing, but then they do another. People, I've come to learn, they have not found out, they have not pinpointed what they really want. Because when you truly want something, everything should line up for you to take steps to achieve that. You can't tell me that you want to be a doctor, but you're not going to school to become a doctor. What you say and what you think should line up with what you do. Make sense? And so when I say a moment of clarity, I've discovered that most people don't know what they truly want. And if you don't know what you truly want, you're not willing to pay a price to get it because you what the Bible says, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Think that he shall not receive anything from the Lord. Double, double, you know, one minute, I want to do this. Next minute, I want to do that. Next minute, I want to do this. Next minute, I want to do that. Let me try this. Let me try that. It's like a rap song. Let me do this. Let me do that. Let me do this. Let me do that. Hey, hey, hey. They're not giving themselves a chance to lock in on something and stick it out for it to manifest and blossom. If it don't work within six months, they're like, oh, I'm not doing this anymore. So they never truly knew what they wanted in the first place. Because when you really want something, I believe you should put time in it and give it a chance to blossom and to grow. Now, I understand, I understand, right? Through time and through effort and through research and through experience, that if there is no fruit in what you're doing, meaning if there's not even a slight bit of fruit, a slight bit of growth, then you're in the wrong lane. Because when God gives you a gift, when God puts you in the right area, in the right field, you'll start to see sprouts of growth. May not be a lot at first, but you're going to see some sprouts. You're going to see some increase. You're going to see some things happening, right? You may not have the hundred properties that you set out to have first, but you at least going to get one. You're going to get some tenants in there, right? You you want to write a book. You you wrote your book. You may not have sold thousands of copies yet, but you but at least you sold a hundred, right? You you do you did something. People at least people are are taking notice of what you're doing. Is what I'm saying. You're having some success. May not be the overwhelming level of success, but you're having something. So before you can move any further with anything, you got to know what you want. You got to know what you want. People in relationships and the person want to take it a next step further, want to get serious. The next person like, mm, I don't really know. What don't you know? You've been together with this person for two years, just casually dating. And they want to be serious and exclusive. And you're like, I don't know. I'm not sure. Like, it don't take all that. I remember when I first met my wife, I knew. We weren't even dating. But just from what my spirit was telling me and what God was showing me, that I knew that she was my wife. It was like, it didn't take a long time. It wasn't like I had to be with her like 10 years dating. And okay, let me let me really watch you. Let me Let me know. I'm going to be with you. I just knew it. And I knew I wanted her. It wasn't like I had to. And that's that's why I tell people all the time when they're in a relationship. And you constantly bickering and fighting and all that stuff like that. And it seems hard. 
to have conversation. It seemed hard to laugh. It seemed hard just to get along. You gotta really question like, dang, and you're not married yet. You gotta question like, is this person the right person for you? Because it's not supposed to be that hard. You be with a person, it's supposed to be easy. It's like two gloves fitting together. It's the yin and the yang. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And so, <laughs> and so, um, it should be easy. It should be a flow to it. And so, when I met her, that's what it was. We talked on the phone for hours. And I knew I wanted her. And 14 years later, you know, we're still married, but we dated for like, what, three years? And that's only because at that time, I didn't have the resources. You know, I didn't have the resources when we met and I was um, still living at home. I was a college student. She was a college student. So it took us a little time to get our financial situation together so that we could strike it out on our own. But immediately we knew, immediately, I told her immediately, it might have scared the mess out of her, but I said, you're going to be my wife one day. And she looked at me like, really? <laughs> How do you know that? I just know that's what my spirit is telling me. And it was, and my spirit wasn't wrong because here we are today. And so you want to be so in tune with God. You want to be so in tune in the spirit with the spiritual realm that you may not understand how you're going to achieve what you what you're working on. You may not even know exactly what you want to do. But when you walk into the field or when you go into the area, you know it. It's like we was looking at houses. We just was looking at just um, going to look at houses to purchase a new home. And we went to a few houses. First house we went to was like, oh, it's okay, but it's not talking to us. We don't feel it. Even the kids was like, no, we went to another house and put an offer in on it. It's like, this is a nice house. We can live here. And the deal didn't go through. Then we went to look at another house and automatically everybody was in unison. This is the house. Everybody was in unity. This is the house. Our spirits was like, this is the house. It's like you just know when you know. And when you know that you know what it is that you want to do, when you know what you know that God put you here to do something, he put you here to do this, or you had you feel purpose, then guess what? Your life takes on a different um, trajectory. Because now you're locked in on this thing. You're locked in on what it is that you want to do. But you can't get locked in on anything until you truly know what it is that you want out of life. Because then and only then can you pay the price, right, to accomplish that goal, to achieve that. This is your man, Mike Bowens, and I'm signing off until next time. And I'm saying, be blessed.